Herr Svenningsen is a neurologist specializing in disorders such as Parkinson's disease. As a member of the Nobel Committee, he is actively involved with the Nobel Prizes in Physiology or Medicine. In late autumn, he visited the Department of Neurology at the Medical University of Innsbruck. We took the chance to talk to him. Professor Svenningsen, at least three Nobel Prizes in the last 20 years had connections to PD or neurological uh, diseases. It seems the decisions refer on the great importance of these diseases in society. Can I put that like this? Yes, yeah, so when, when you award uh, a, a Nobel Prize in Physiology Medicine, there, is, there need to be a fundamental discovery, a groundbreaking discovery and you need to really identify that. So you don't get the Nobel Prize for a long-standing, excellent career. You need to make a really uh, clearly identified groundbreaking discovery. But then, uh, since it is a, medicine, a, a, a prize in medicine, we also value a lot uh, the medical impact. Uh, so this is uh, something that um, is taken into consideration also when we uh, evaluate the fundamental impact of the discovery. So, uh, so Parkinson's disease is a uh, rather common uh, disease where there are uh, about 10 million people in the world. Uh, it's actually a very common disease uh, and it's mainly uh, a little bit elderly people that are affected but we also have patients that, that are um, uh, actively working and have families uh, and uh, uh, so, for Parkinson's disease, we, we have uh, several uh, therapies that we can use to uh, treat symptoms. Uh, so we can help the patients uh, uh, to live, uh, have a good quality of life for quite many years. Uh, then we have these conditions called uh, atypical Parkinson, among which MSA, multiple system atrophy, is um, uh, one of the most common. And, uh, Professor Benning, who is a world-leading expert uh, in this area, uh, told me that there are actually two million people in the world uh, that suffers from MSA. So MSA has a very severe uh, autonomic dysfunction, uh, which uh, makes the patients um, fall and it makes them having problem with uh, emptying the bladder and, and it can be very handicapping. And, uh, Unfortunately, the therapies uh, that we have today for, for MSA are not as good as they are for uh, Parkinson's disease. So it's very, very important to, to really uh, try to find um, medications that can uh, slow down the disease progression of MSA and also to, to improve um, the movement repertoire and also contract autonomic dysfunction. As talking about Professor Wenning and the research done here in Innsbruck on PD or MSA, uh, your visit here seems to show the excellence of the Innsbruck research. Yeah, and and I, I'm extremely impressed of, of uh, both um, the um, capabilities and resources and also the, how, how uh, many different uh, clinical trials are ongoing here. Uh, so. I knew this before I came, that Innsbruck, because Innsbruck is known to be world leading in the area of, of um, movement disorder, especially MSA and, and Parkinson's disease. But I have to say that I'm, I'm deeply impressed and I really hope uh, that we from Karolinska Institute can establish uh, strong collaborations with um, the colleagues here in, in Innsbruck, uh, especially Professor Wenning. Another area that I realized that uh, the neurology clinic is, is very uh, prominent in here in um, Innsbruck is stroke. Uh, and I, I uh, think that there is also good possibilities for interaction between uh, stroke researchers here in Innsbruck and at Karolinska Institute where stroke is also a prioritized area. So um, I think it has been extremely inspiring to be here in, in Innsbruck and, and discuss with Professor Wenning and his colleagues because uh, uh, this is really the world leading center and, and you have um, followed uh, so many patients also with this rare condition and I can see that there are many different uh, therapies that are under development so for me it has been extreme, extremely inspiring to come here and, and uh, 
uh, and have been very nicely introduced to both the preclinical and the clinical work that is being, going, being done here by Professor Daniel Collins.